Oh, I don't need one. Thank you so Thank much.
How are y'all? Hey, doing good. Got to soak them in when you see cars like this, right?
Great color. Yes, sir. And it kind of, kind of got dormant. Uh, he had the, the frame welded up, and he had the body panels formed, but not welded together. Yes. And uh, you know, four years ago, I decided I wanted to build a hot rod, and I knew about it. So I said, "Hey, what are you doing with that car? Are you going to finish it or what?" Yeah. He said, "I'll sell it." <laughs> Well, I'm glad you got it finished. You got yeah. to enjoy it, drive it, show it. Disc brakes. Right. Oh, it's got a got a Corvette rear in it. Yeah, C4 Corvette. Yeah. I grew up in a Corvette shop. Oh, did you? So this, this car will go down the road good. Well, it hasn't yet. I have, I'm just, I just finished it. So yes. I'm just shaking it down. Oh, yeah. So I have uh, That's a lot of power in a small package. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's a neat car. Bill, it's a pleasure. Y'all enjoy your day.
Space 81, checking out the Evil Knievel exhibit. How cool is this? Daryl Starbird's Rod Custom Car Show. Amazing. <laughs>
Look who I ran into. Rana's radar growing every day. Oh, it is, isn't it? Your Thank interviews you are incredible. Thank you, Sam. Just wanted to give you a shout out. If you're not you're subscribing awesome. to Rana, get to her channel right now. You're awesome, Sam. You've got the best cars, the best we, videos. We and all, music. I'm just trying hey, to keep up. <laughs> that's what we're all trying to do is just promote the hobby. So good to see you, man. Good to see you. Love you, Sam.
visiting with Steve Perry here at the Tulsa Starbird, Cheryl Starbird Show. Uh, Mr. Perry is a channel watcher, and we were just checking out some of his rides. Tell us about your little five window here. Uh, it's a little five window coupe. It's a 1930. It's got a 350 Brodix motor in it. Yes. Uh, 671 uh, billet uh, lower shop blower. Two 750 Holly carburetors. And it's got about 850 horsepower. It, Not too shabby. It runs, it runs pretty good. <laughs> we, we enjoy it. It's did fun. you did you build this one? Yes. Oh man. Yes. Good looking it's a ride. Lot a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I've got a small block uh, 400 in it. Steve was telling me he's had this one since 83. 80, it's an 81 80, model. Uh -huh. uh, I'm the second owner. You said it came with a, a six cylinder and a three on the tree? Yeah, six cylinder, three on the tree. Small block 400 on it now. It's a. Like I said, me and the wife dated on it. Oh, you in did? This truck. Nice. Yeah. A lot of memories in this a one. A lot of, a lot of memories. A lot of memories. We had a tonneau cover before there was tonneau covers. Oh, you? <laughs> cool. You can get up on top of it. It's just kind of a cool ride. Yeah. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's been a, been a good truck for us. And we drive them. We drive our truck. Yes. So did you wear out the six cylinder? Yeah, it is. We tried that Joey's car. He built it from scratch. Look oh, wow. The, look at the pictures on the front of this and what Joey did to it. Now, who is Joey? Joey. Joey. Oh, he's bo don't bother bothering uh, him. That's your buddy? Yeah, yeah. We all come up here again. <laughs> Got a stick. YouTube and stuff. He's the cast me out. Joey, pleasure to meet you, sir. You too, sir. Just checking out your ride here. Yeah, he, uh, look at the pictures of this. That's what Joey did. That's what the car started out on. And that's, this is it's an Apo this Apollo? Buick, uh... Skylark. Skylark, okay. The only way I knew by that is a Buick. Look at that, what it was when he first started. Oh, hey. That's just cool. Strip it down. Wow, man. Everything. I love seeing it when you when you finish it, you know. Yeah. You, you yeah. saw it saw it yeah, to completion. Is, yeah. Man. That is nice. I've never finished a one. I always sell them before they're done. Yeah, I've noticed that about you. You'll have one for the bits. You'd be you gone. <laughs> I, I gotta stop doing that. I, I, I wanna finish one. Well, you can't be afraid to make money. This is your wife's that's, 1950 that's, model. This is the wife's 1950. It looks like it's dated up with. Yeah, it's sitting on a 2002 STM Frank. Drive this one anywhere. Small supercharger on it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Power down. She drives this and go get groceries here. Goes down the gravel road and this one. Got some really cool seats in it. She just got those put in. Oh, those are it's cool. Cowhide. Yeah. She really likes it. She did those she's got her own. She's got her own flare on. Oh that. yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's her. She's cool. Her little thing. She likes the band Kiss real well, so she made that bull look like Kiss, <laughs> like Gene Simmons. Oh okay, I didn't see that. Oh yeah. yeah it's just cool. That is neat.
there you go.
work on one of those. Her soul shades, who wears them better? Me or Steve? Well, what do you think? Who wears them better? <laughs> Here at the Daryl Starbird Show again, incredible show. Thanks for tuning in, Sam Space 81.
My dad was a Pontiac GMC dealer. Yes. When I was a kid. Yes, sir. He sold this car to his one of his mechanics in 1968, and the mechanic had it his entire life, and he passed away, and I bought it from his widow. Oh. It was in the process of being restored. He had taken the frame down to the frame, and so he was working on it, and I bought it, put it all right back so together, over there? got it back in this shape because he it was on a it was just. The motor wasn't in it. It was, yes. it was just a chassis and frame. Yes. Did, was it sitting in a garage? When did you acquire the car, you know, in a project state? Two, two and a half years ago. Did, was it just parked a long time? What kind of shape was it in? No, it, it was, at, it, it, it was, uh, they had, the quarter panels, back quarter panels were all rusted out. They got them back on and. It was, it was in a body shop, and they were just it just kind of sat around for about seven years in a body shop. They were in a big rush to get it done, and uh, he passed away, like I say. And I I bought it, and it was just in that shape. It was the chassis. It was sitting on the chassis was sitting on the frame, but he yes. already overhauled all the frame and the uh, brake lines. He'd already done all that stuff already, and then I. I got it back. We were finished the body and put the motor in it. Man, manual brakes, manual steering. What kind of gears are underneath it? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's the. Is it, oh, I'll check it out. I didn't even see all that. That's cool. They kept all the paperwork. That's my, my dad owned this up. So, Oprah Dickey Motor Company. Oprah. Higginsville, Missouri. That's where. Man, that's neat. That's where that cost thirty three hundred dollars. Thirty three hundred. That's a check you wrote. That's cool. You got a protecto plate. They used to put that in the glove box. Yeah. Man, that's neat. So I put it back all original, back to stock. It's, it's got drum brakes. You know, no power steering. No like power it's supposed brake. to be. Yeah. It takes the away from the, the feel of it. It was a. Uh, Go fast cars, all those four. <laughs> Man, that's cool. You got to stand over there with it. I got to get a shot with you. you. Got the family car. It is. That's special. It, it was meant to be that you reacquired it, you know. That's why I told his widow that I said, you know, it's never going to leave my family. I got two boys that enjoy cars, and the grandkids enjoy cars, so it'll never leave my family. We got to keep it going. <laughs> like it's supposed to be. $39,385. You got shoulder belts. That's going to be a Bring back memories for anybody that had one of these, you know. Yeah, well, my my age group. I don't have any memories in them. You know, I used to sell classics, uh -huh. and I got to test drive a lot of stuff like this, but nothing with my family growing up in them. You know, that's different. Oh wait, yes. His partner was still alive, and I I asked him. I said, "Do you have any of those stickers left?" And he had one left that he, he had stuck on there. I got it from him, so made for this car. So I went ahead.